So today we are going to be looking at divine vision because as Proverbs says, where there is no vision, the people perish. And so success and really living a joyful, happy life, it doesn't just happen by accident. It happens by design. And when you are going through a crisis, uh, many of you have experienced betrayal, whether it's happening now or it's happened in the past, or perhaps there's another um, situation or circumstance happening in your life right now, but it can, it can shake you up when things start to change. And so you want, what happens is you typically then focus on what's currently happening in your current circumstances, and that will keep you stuck. And that's the opposite of where you want to go because you want to feel good again. You want to feel joyful again. You want to feel happy again. And that is all about uh, really creating and designing your divine vision. And so there's a proven formula for truly um, stepping into a fulfilling and a meaningful life and creating a life where you feel good again. And once you understand it, you'll be able to uh, implement it into your life over and over again. So the first step for the visioneering has to do with um, just that, visioning. And this, if you're not familiar with it, is a very powerful game changer for you. So I want, uh, you know, I don't know if any of you have seen, um, there's a photo out there that shows a, a little cat, a uh, sweet little cat looking in the mirror and seeing this really courageous, bold lion reflecting back. And that's really what we must all do if we want to create a different life for ourselves. You know, that, that cat uh, is never going to become that lion how, physically, but in the mind, that's what he's seeing for himself. And so that's what we must do too. And that process is about visioning. It's about really understanding uh, and using a mental faculty, uh, the mental faculty known as imagination. Now, a lot of us use our imagination to terrorize ourselves, to think the worst. When a crisis happens, most of us go into fear, thinking, oh my gosh, this has happened, so now that's gonna happen. And we begin to imagine all sorts of things that we don't want in our life, that we would not prefer. And we use our imagination in that way. Where I want to direct you is to turn that around, turn that Titanic around basically. And we wanna look at using your imagination in a way that supports you, where you can create a life that you would absolutely love. And so the first step is to truly ask yourself, what is it that I would love? And I want to just show you here what I'm talking about is here you are, excuse my stick figure, <laughs> and our thoughts that we're having of our current situation, they have a frequency to them. And that frequency is right here. And that frequency creates a vibration. and what precedes the law of attraction. I know most everybody these days understands the law of attraction, but what most people don't understand is that what precedes the law of attraction is the law of vibration. And our thoughts have a, a vibratory pattern to them that creates a frequency. And so that vibration then is going to latch onto its equivalent and it's going to bring back to you that which it's magni magnetizing, that which which it is uh, at the same level of frequency with. And so if we're having thoughts that are not great thoughts, we're going to be attracting more of the same. But if you vision and you want something that's up here, imagine this is what you want, it's up there. That is going, I hope you can see this, but you, as you can see, there's a gap, right? You're here and you wanna be here. So the question is, how do you close the gap? And so today, that's what this training is going to be about, is how do you close the gap? And the very first step is all about asking yourself, what do I want? What do I want? If your life is in uh, array or um, 
you know, you basically would love to be living a different life, one that is more joyful, one that is more happy, one that you really feel has meaning and purpose, and you're going through something right now that, that just really has you out of sorts. You want to ask yourself, okay, I know I don't want this. What do I want instead? And you want to abs you want to write it down. So I want you to think about right now, what, what is it? And again, use your imagination. Imagine that I am tapping you over the head with a magic wand and you could have anything that your heart desires. What you want to do is you want to really connect with that. What do I want instead? Let your imagination soar. You know, so many of us, uh, we dream and we have all sorts of wonderful ideas when we're younger and then life happens and we get thrown curveballs and we stop dreaming. You know, think about this. If you're, you know, when you're a child uh, and for those of you who have children, imagine if when you started walking, your child started walking, what, what do we normally do? We fall down. We fall down, we fall down, we fall down. Not just once, but multiple times. What if we just sat there and said, well, I guess I'm just not meant to, to walk. I'm just going to sit here the rest of my life. No, we don't do that. As a child, we keep getting up. We keep getting up until we're steady on our feet. So we want to have both imagination. What was that child thinking? It sees a toy over there or it sees a cookie over there. They want to get to the toy. They want to get to the cookie. So there is imagination going on of getting, how do I get to it? Well, they must first get up. And then the will, really, that's the will to keep, keep trying to get up. So when we are moving towards uh, really looking at what we would love instead, it's important that we use both the imagination and our will. Now here's the thing that you don't need to know that often stops most people, and that is knowing the how. Most people think they have to know how to do something before they take even a single step forward. And what I'm going to be sharing with you today and have already started sharing around the frequencies is that you don't need to know the how. Don't let that stop you. Don't let it stop you. What, what we all have, we all have our senses, right, of taste, touch, hearing, visual, um, and, and smelling. And so what happens often is that we allow our senses to inform what we think we can do. And so if something is going on in our life, uh, such as you're having trouble in your relationship and you're, you're feeling really awful, then you're letting that feeling of feeling awful inform you as to what you think can actually happen for you in your life. What we must do is we must turn off our senses, turn off our senses and allow ourselves to think differently. Think about what it is that you want instead what it is you want instead, and you want to impress that on your mind. We want to impress that on your conscious mind because then that will go into, and let me just see if I can turn this over here. Yeah. So I want to just share with you an idea of what's going on. So this is where your thoughts are, it's your conscious mind, and this is your subconscious. And then this is the body. So whatever is going on in your conscious mind, that's being impressed into your subconscious mind, and then you have a feeling about it, that goes into the body and you behave in a certain way, and then that's what gives you your results. So when we're using our imagination, we are willing ourselves to keep thinking about what it is that we desire because repetition is key. And, we, and it will build. It will build. Remember, we talked about vibration that you're experiencing with your thoughts. So we want, let me just pull this back. Your thoughts are creating these wavy lines of vibration. And so in order to be up here, we have to have different thoughts, right? Makes sense. Um, Einstein said that in order to um, 
in order to create a different, you know, in order to really find a solution, we have to rise up because if we don't, then we are simply going to get more of the same. You know, you can't solve a problem at the level of conscious thinking it was created. You have to rise above it. You have to have a higher thought and that higher thought can come about when you use your imagination to ask yourself, what do I really want? What do I really want? And this doesn't happen overnight like that. It's a little at a time. And what happens is for, for all of us is that once we, uh, or I should say most of us, but once we decide what we want, then a fear crops up. You know, I call it the evil twin sister, you know, okay, you decide that you want to live a certain way and, and, then that little voice inside starts to chatter and say, what makes you think that's going to happen? That never happened in the past, or you're too old for that, or you don't have the money for that, or who's, you know, on and on and on and on. Can you relate? Yeah. So what needs to happen is we uh, really have to lock on to that desire. It has to be a burning desire and we have to practice using our imagination, no matter what thought comes up. And if we don't do that, then what's going to happen is that we're going to use our imagination to terrorize ourselves instead. So I remember when I wanted to write a book and I didn't know how that was going to happen. I didn't have the money for it. I didn't have an agent. I didn't have any of that. And I just kept visualizing my book complete, having my book party. And that's key. You want to imagine what is a situation that can only happen if this manifests for you. And for me, it was a book party. I kept seeing, um, and I kept seeing my book having won an award and that I was at a book party. And no matter what came up, and there were a lot of obstacles in writing that book, but no matter what came up, I kept focusing, you know, like a dog on a bone, right? Just focusing on that image of the book party and receiving uh, an award for my book. And so you want to keep visioning no matter what your circumstances are. And here's the truth of the matter is there's faith, right? Imagination has to do with, uh, and what you're visioning, it hasn't materialized yet. So you, you, you can choose faith that this is going to, to happen for you, or you can choose fear of what you think might happen for you. But think about it either way, neither one of them has materialized yet. So why not choose faith? Why not choose faith? It's just a matter of redirecting your mind and your thoughts. And what you want to do, the most important thing is to decide now. When you decide now, that is an incredibly important step you can take. What happens when you decide, I'm going to do this. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'm going to do it. When you decide for something, boom, your frequency, frequency goes up. And all of a sudden, you're going to start attracting things, people, uh, ideas, uh, situation, circumstances that are in alignment with that dream, because then you'll be on the same frequency. So then it'll be about holding it with your will. And I know that can often be challenging for all of us. And that's why I have a lot of tools that I, that I offer uh, people for this, because it is so crucial. It's hard to do it. And we're just not programmed that way. We off, you know, most of us go into the fear. And so you want to retrain your mind and just know that the other key component to really having what you desire is when you get it in your mind. And it's so important because the mind thinks in pictures, you want to add feeling to it. Really, when you're visioning it and you're seeing it happen, do it all day long. When you're doing this and you have the feeling you are informing yourselves that this is your life because the mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not real. So you're informing it. This is what is real and your cells start to percolate and they start to expand and they, the vibration goes up and you continue to stay at this level and then you're attracting whatever it is that you want. So trust the creative process with this and know that you can have whatever you want. Go ahead, write out your goal read it every day and trust the process. Thank you so much for joining me today with our divine message that without a vision, people will perish. So get your vision in place and take one step at a time. Happy imagining. Bye now.